Okay, so th that's all okay, I'm hoping. Um, yeah. So uh, if, you, if you've got a pos the chance to, if you can get your phones out and just go to menti.com and enter the code in, um, you'll then be able to engage with a question, which we'll come back to a little bit later, which is uh, what are the barriers to online learning? You can put as many entries in there as you like. I'm taking a little bit of a risk. It might not work. It might. We'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, and uh, and yeah. And so let, let's see, let's see what happens there. So this is all about engaging learners online, setting expectations on a collaborative framework of engagement. Um, so obviously, see that the pandemic hit us hard. What we did at Cardinville College and you know Mark and Buki uh, have been supporting. I mean, in different ways, actually, and, and particularly uh, Mark was on that, that online stuff and, and, and the digital transformation strategy. We, we really wanted to engage learners and make sure they could learn online. And that's, that's, that's been a challenging road to be on, but we've just learned a load of lessons off that. One of the biggest things we found as being a problem was, was this. this. This represents the biggest challenge that we face with online learning, a blank screen. <laughs> yeah. And then no sound. And, and it's so difficult to teach, um, when you t particularly when you're getting to know learners. We had the advantage in March when we, when we transferred the line directly online to, to essentially know our learners from the air and we could get to know them. It, I, I, I was taking a philosophy class in September and trying to establish rapport with those gr that group of learners was incredibly challenging. That blank screen, that, that sort of tumbleweed moment and, and trying, to, trying to stop your students from doing this, do you know if they're in their gym jams with a cup of hot chocolate, eight thirty in the morning? I mean, I would be if, if if people weren't telling me otherwise. So, so we want to move, and you know, we're not saying that this uh, this uh, this bulldog over here is, is 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 not having a nice time. He is, but we want our students to be energized. You know, we want them to be ready to learn online as 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 exuberantly as that as that as that dog you see in front of you i don't quite know the breed i'm not i'm not really a dog person but um they, it, it looks happy i think it looks happier than the one before so what we need to think about are what are the barriers and and risk has been taken and oh alas the risk has 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 has, uh, has paid off so we've got we've got a few things coming up here just keep adding those and building the word cloud and it's great to see those contributions building as as we're talking i hope that's is this coming through on the presentation i hope it is it's, it's really, yeah, it, really is. Yeah, it is yeah um, so just just to pick up on some of the things that are coming up here. I mean, batteries are fantastic. One, what 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 an important one? Making sure we understand the learners' needs, our needs as well, and the preparation. You know, so so one of the things I'd say with that, which is which is really interesting, is when learners come onto site and they got a mobile phone. How many times do they come onto site with a mobile phone uncharged? How often do they leave school with that phone not being charged? So battery, the preparation of technology, often can be there if the motivation is there. And where there is a will, there is certainly a way, but it's, it's, it's refining that. Wi-Fi, yeah, absolutely. We, we that, that, that's something that 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 can can, can knock us out um, without sort of any sort of uh, um, uh, strategy. Other than we have provided dongles to learners and things like that, but it, it is it is really um, it is it is really challenging. What, what I'd say, and I see these things coming up here, like people being disengaged. Well, I'll, just, I'll share this at the end, um, uh, Mark and Buki, and you can, you guys can share it wider. There's just some some of the barriers they can they can, they can look at this um, a bit later. I'm happy to do that. But it, absolutely, all these things that are coming up are absolutely key. Screen wariness, you know, we have to think about that fatigue. So one of the things I suggest about that is we don't want learners to be looking at their screen for the entire time. That sort of chalk and talk approach to online learning it will generate screen fatigue so i could speak for a long time on this i'm happy to come back again with some of these uh, sort of these themes here but but just to, to give you a bit of a taste of what we've done so having learned from the, le the lessons from march to to, to J july we had the online ed fest and even then from september to november we we basically put on um a, a reflective piece where we wanted learners and us to have some teeth something to hold ourselves to account, but also learners to account. So what I'm gonna share with you is, is, is a bit of a charter. Learners, you are going to, and staff, we will. And, and, and really this is to bring staff on, on board with us as well as learners as well. It's a collaborative process. You, we're not gonna learn online through, through some sort of like, you know, diktat. There has to be a process where we're combining together. So respect. We want you to respect the learning environment. And by respecting the learning environment, we will work with you to become confident learners in an online world. You need to be more confident. You know, our interviews are going to take place online now. Our presentations like this are going to take place online now. It's important that we respect the online learning environment. We need to be fully prepared as well, including the battery, right? We've got to be fully prepared for online learning. And, and what we will do as staff is we'll design a range of activities to support your learning. We're not just going to have you listening to me for, for 45 minutes and, you, and you taking notes or just having to listen for that entire for that entire time. Um, clearly here, have the set your expectations high. We want your camera on. 
we want your headphones in and mic off unless you're contributing because we want to monitor your engagement and your well-being during online lessons. It's very important we establish that rapport and we haven't we get away from that blank screen that we see. And we want you to engage with the content of the lesson. If you engage with the content of the lesson, we're going to provide you feedback on your progress. And finally, because my time is coming up, communicate any barriers to online learning. So let us know what those barriers are and we will seek, we can't promise, but we'll seek to resolve those barriers. And this has really helped. It's helped staff understand what we want but more importantly it's helped learners understand what the expectations are what a fast moving world it is i've run over time but if you do want, if you do want to connect with me um uh, just just let me know if you wanted to be expand on any of those things anymore and obviously um buki and mark happy to happy to continue this another time but thank you very much indeed mm -hmm.